This is the worst story of the day. According to the Post Millennial, a 2016 medical article documenting the tragic death of one of the participants in the linchpin Dutch study upon which the entire child sex experiment, sex change experiment is based, indicates that puberty suppression was to blame for the young person's death. The case is that of an 18-year-old trans-identified male whose puberty was blocked by the Dutch researchers at a very early stage, meaning there wasn't enough penile tissue for surgeons to use to create a neo-vagina. Therefore, a more risky procedure using a section of the patient's bowel was necessary, which resulted in fatal necrotizing fasciitis. The manuscript begins by saying the absence of a functional vagina has had a negative effect on the sexual quality of life of transgender women and explains that multiple surgical procedures have been described for vaginal reconstruction, reconstruction meaning actual construction, in these patients. The patient was described as being a healthy 18-year-old for whom standard vaginoplasty surgery was not feasible due to having underdeveloped genitals as a result of early puberty suppression. So instead, they decided to literally grab a piece of this person's colon and try to form this into a false vagina. And the person died. And the person died from this. Apparently, Jazz Jennings, star of the reality TV show I Am Jazz, faced a similar issue when it came time for genital surgery. Jennings was an extremely gender nonconforming child who would almost certainly have grown up to be a gay man, but was instead transitioned at a very young age. Jennings' puberty was blocked from early childhood, meaning vaginoplasty was not possible. Jennings required three corrective surgeries, still struggles in the dating world, and has never experienced orgasm, which, of course, is going to be a lifelong problem. Now, we are all supposed to pretend that this is life-saving care, according to the media and the current White House. Speaking of which, Jazz Jennings has uh, now responded to criticism from people like me. The criticism from me is not of Jazz Jennings as a human being. My criticism is actually of Jazz Jennings and his parents, because this is a person who's indoctrinated from the time that he was a very young person, like a small child, into the idea that he was actually a she, and then facilitated into life-altering hormone treatments and surgeries that have not alleviated Jazz Jennings' underlying feelings of depression, anxiety, and other issues. Here is Jazz Jennings, however, responding to, to that claim. And I am Jazz, this person was born in 2000. This person is a boy uh, and, uh, and was transitioned by his parents when he was a very, very young kid. <laughs> oh. It's almost like comedic at this point. I've been watching these videos over and over again and it's just not for these people to define me and tell me who I am. I define myself. I know who I am. And just shut up and let me be. Let our community be. Let us thrive, you know? Why do you have to bring us down? Why do you care so much? It's just so annoying and so stupid. They don't know my life and my personal business. And I'm here saying right now that I have no regrets when it comes to my transition. I am proud to be me. So for people to jump to that conclusion that I regret my transition, it's just not true. And me saying that right here, right now, should be enough. Why are you talking about me when I, I'm on TV making the case that young, very young people should be transitioned? That would be the reason why. You're a public figure. You make a claim, which is boys can become girls. I deny that claim because it's not true. You know, as far as your own personal happiness and your own personal mental state, you are the person putting that on television. I played clips from your show on my show, and I talked about the clips of you obviously being in a, in a dire emotional state. You put that out. I did not put that out. It was not a secret. It was on national television to point out that the lie, that it's all rainbows and unicorns once you take hormones and surgically mutilate your body, to point that out does not make me the villain. The villain was the people who, as adults, decided that a small child was capable of picking his gender. Those are the villains in this story. But again, we're supposed to pretend that everything is hunky-dory. We're supposed to ignore the horror stories. We're supposed to pretend that none of this, none of this has any impact on real life. It obviously does have some very significant impact on real life. Let's talk about living a healthy lifestyle. So, got to tell you, as you know, I have the, the taste buds of a child which means I hate vegetables. Vegetables are one of nature's great evils, but I still need the nutrition of the vegetables, which is why I use Balance of Nature fruits and veggies. They're a great way to make sure that you're getting essential nutritional ingredients every single day. Through Balance of Nature's advanced cold vacuum process, the vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients of the fruits and vegetables are preserved. So you can get that vital nutrition in each capsule. Balance of Nature is a whole food supplement with no additives, fillers, extracts, synthetic pesticides, or added sugar. The only thing in their capsules is pure fruits and vegetables. Balance of Nature has sent a bunch of their product down to the studio for my team to try. We all love the product. 
It's not just me, you know, in terms of people around here who hate vegetables, but like the product. Producer Jake hates broccoli like every normal human being, but he loves Balance of Nature's fruit and veggie capsules. They make him feel a lot better, and they do that for all of us around here. I was excited to find out the product is certified kosher, which means I can actually attest to its quality. Go to balanceofnature.com, use promo code Shapiro, get 35% off your first order as a preferred customer. That's balanceofnature.com, promo code Shapiro, get 35% off your first preferred order. Regardless of your religion, everybody around here needs a little more peace in their life. There's just too much chaos in the world, too much anger in the world. When it's time for you to calm down and connect with the deeper values, you need something like Hallow. Hallow is an incredible app that offers a unique approach to prayer and meditation. Unlike other meditation apps, Hallow is tailored specifically for people of faith to deepen their relationship with God. The Hallow app is filled with studies, meditations, and reflections rooted in Judeo-Christian prayer practices. Obviously, we have a lot of Christians who work here at Daily Wire. They've been using Hallow. They love it as well. You can pray alongside Mark Wahlberg, Jonathan Rumi, who portrays Jesus in The Chosen, even some world-class athletes. You can access the number one Christian podcast, The Bible in a Year with Father Mike Schmitz on Hallow. Hallow helps you maintain that daily prayer routine. With features like progress tracking and streaks, you can stay motivated and make prayer a regular part of your daily routine. If you're looking to deepen your relationship with God and improve your mental and emotional well-being, try Hallow for three months free at hallow.com slash Shapiro. That's hallow.com slash Shapiro. Meanwhile, in terms of the broader cultural debate, it turns out that a lot of Americans are not fond of having the message that boys can be girls and girls can be boys crammed down upon them. Bud Light has taken it directly on the chin in market terms. Bud Light has now suffered a 17% sales plunge amid the Dylan Mulvaney botch up, according to the New York Post. The latest sales data from Nielsen IQ and Bump Williams Consulting shows Bud Light sales fell 17% in dollars while volume dropped a whopping 21% in the week ending April 15th. That's sharply ahead of the 6% drop in sales dollars and 11% drop in volume that Bud Light had suffered during the week ending April 8th, the seven days that immediately followed the April 1st launch of the controversial Mulvaney campaign on social media. Insights Express, a beer-focused newsletter, said these numbers are staggering. Right now, this is an extremely difficult scenario for Anheuser-Busch, the Bud Light brand, and for AB distributors. So the question is going to be, who else is going to stand up and say enough of this nonsense? The, the real big question is going to be for women here. The reason that that question is going to be for women is because the vast majority of brands who've actually used Dylan Mulvaney as a brand influencer are female oriented. Men are now saying, you want to talk about men who are standing up for women? How about men who say, no, you don't get to woman face. You don't get to pretend to be a woman and mock women in the process and then earn millions of dollars doing it. That's not something that we as men are going to stand for. But women are going to have to do the same thing. Men can't do all the heavy lifting here, ladies. You are going to have to stand up. There are many women who do like J.K. Rowling. Many women are going to have to stand up and say, no, you don't get to pretend to be a woman and make money off of us at the same time. Currently, Dylan Mulvaney's list of sponsorships includes, Dylan Mulvaney's full list includes Ulta Beauty, Mac, Sarave, Kate Spade, Instacart, Nike. I mean, this is, a, this is a large list, a very, very long list. Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. And maybe that's a dude. Like this is, it's, ladies, it's up to you. I can't decide which makeup you buy, but you can decide which makeup you buy. I don't buy makeup. I'm a dude. In fact, even for the show, I don't buy the makeup. Fabby buys the makeup to make sure that everybody looks good on camera. Okay, but the reality is that people buying makeup should take a look at their product. And women ha should have most of the stake in this. Why are men the ones who are leading the way? Why only when it hits Bud Light is there a sponsor blowback? Women should be the one who are offended by this nonsense. This is a man pretending to be one of you and saying that men should be able to go into the women's bathroom and compete against women. Women need to stand up at a certain point here. Meanwhile, the Hollywoodites continue to do their, their worst. So Kevin Bacon is now speaking out against drag bands, which is very exciting stuff. He and Kyra Sedgwick are dancing for the drag queens. Oh, no. Uh, this is not good. Oh, no. They're wearing shirts that say drag is an art and drag is a right. Uh, it is neither. Also, that is seven degrees of awkwardness right there from Kevin Bacon. Alrighty, guys, the rest of the show continues right now. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll be getting to the mailbag. Plus, a kind of amazing story about a woman who was sadly body shamed for, and I quote, letting my boobs hang out at the gym. Yes, it's, it's a strange, puzzling story. If you're not a member, become a member. Use code Shapiro checkout for two months free on all annual plans. Click the link in the description and join us.